on your right at Mare Magnum. And at the foot of the column, there are some statues related with the discovery of America. On the other side, there is a priest. Uh, they put in a smaller box, and then the new one will enter the same hole. Then in the south of Spain, they are, you must wait for 10 years. But because of our density population, just two years. Some of them, they are empty, but they are fully booked. They can mark the person in his own niche. It's fully booked, completely. We have 10 cemeteries and uh, three crematoriums, and that's the biggest cemetery in the city. We drink. The image was brought to Barcelona. No? We must wait till 1848, when the monk came back to the mountain, and 10, 10 years later, they started the reconstruction of the monastery. Then, uh, the oldest thing that we have in Montserrat is the image itself, but the rest was reconstructed in, starting in 1858. Uh, then the things developed pretty well, and in 1881, the Black Virgin of Montserrat was pro proclaimed patroness of Catalonia. You know that the Pet St. George, 25th of April, and uh, La Muraneta, the Virgin of Montserrat, the 27th of the same month. Uh, then uh, we arrive at the Spanish Civil War, then uh, the soldiers of General Franco, they have been as well in Montserrat, but the monks, they got the experience, they opened the doors to show it was a monastery, and then it was not danger, but it was a sardan at the end, or in the specific celebrations, mountain climbers used to, put, used to put the Catalan flag on the slope of the mountain, flag that people could see from the Basilica, no? and during the celebration, the Catalan flag was there, because the police needs a couple of hours to take the flag away, and then uh, many political people met under the protection of the monks in Montserrat. All that contributes to give Montserrat is a special symbology, especially when the abbot of Montserrat, he was the only one who didn't sign the document giving support to the dictatorship to go up to the mountain. You can come then by train, you, come, you can come walking. <coughs> if you walk from Barcelona, you walk about 15 hours. Uh, you walk miles five kilometers wide, let's say two and a half miles, and its perimeter measures uh, <coughs> 25 kilometers, let's say 16 miles. Its highest peak called San Jerome is 1,235 meters high, about 4,000 feet. Then, here in Montserrat, we've got 1,500 different species of plants. And then these mountains were 10 million of years ago below the sea level. The Earth movement, where it was the formation of the Pyrenees, that was well the formation of Montserrat. They, they found fossils of animals that used to live at the top of the mountain, or well, they used to live at the Mediterranean. They found all of them all over the mountain. The proof that the mountains were many years ago below the sea level. Then atmospheric agents along many millennia has formed the strange shapes we admire today. People of the area has a specific name. The factory is run by professional people, but the monks are the owners, no? but they are not working there. And they produce nowadays a variety of liquors, not just this aroma of Montserrat, not just the green bottle, which is the original, but they produce other liquors in this factory down there at Monistrol. And here in front you see the green bridge, that's the bridge of the new Raja train that connects the train station with the monastery. It's a right now, here in front you will see, well in clear days you can see even the Pyrenees, the mountains of, so between Spain and France. No? But then Monserrat got lately two important problems. The one, the first one was in the year 1986 when it was a forest fire. Everything that you see today, green color, was black color, was very sad. The animals living around this area, they couldn't find any rain. Winter times, when the mountains got snow, you can see better the Pyrenees in front. But today, you see a bit of them, no? Look to the right, see the mountains, no? And then, if you look to the left, you will see up there a modern construction.
Hi, say hi. <laughs> Free day. Hi, I'm Grace. Hi, I'm Beth. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grace from New Zealand. Want to I'm visit Beth. me? Come over. Hi, I'm Beth from Philippines. Everything is free. <laughs> <laughs> to Montserrat in the year 1025, meant to be the founder of the monastery. If you walk upstairs and you turn left, you just walk behind that building, where you have what they call the way of the cross, the 14 stations that Jesus has done on the way to the cross, and you just come down around the corner. See what these people are walking now, they go straight ahead, you arrive to the uh, San Michael, the cross that I mentioned, no? that's the way that brings you up to the front. Themselves, not all of them. In summertime, pretty fully booked because they have communion prices. Communion mm -hmm. is quite nice because they are buying food to normal shops like the one down there now. And they go up to the excursion, a couple of days or a day long, and at night time they can speak with the monks. Right? The office, you know, the Indian prices go here, down there. Now. And then, uh, near 2000, it was a heavy rain and <coughs> swept the road away actually. And then it was a river of mud coming from here that blocks this square to the height of the... Well, I want to show you this statue here on the wall. Remember, we have been at the Holy Family and we recognize the style of the sculpture, Mr. Subirat. In that case, he represents the San George, the patron saint of Catalonia. Do you see that the face is conquered? It's a kind of joke that Subirak has done, because it doesn't matter where you are, the statue is always looking at you, because it's a conquered face. And over there, you have the entrance, the view over there. And then, on the slope of this mountain, there was a place for mountain climbers used to put the Catalan flag during the celebrations, because people could see the Catalan flag in the whole area. And the police needs a couple of hours to take the flag away. From the other side of the mountain, you can almost walk to the top, no? all of all. And then here, down there, there is a, a hotel with the flowers out on the window. That's a normal hotel. There's a normal restaurant inside, a normal toilet as well inside. No? And then here, that entrance. But for some people, it's not enough to see the image at the distance, they want to touch, to speak with him. 
then you must enter through the side door over there. You make a kind of U-turn and you exit where the candles are burning. Uh, if you like, if you want to light a candle, just pick one. If you have one from the cages here, better if you pay. Then you enter directly. You can light the candle. In the high season, at night time, the monks are taking the candles, melting them, making a bigger one that keeps burning to make room for the new candle to do the devotion. And then when it's the high season, it takes ages. I am the king. I'm the king now. Ah, 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 Ginawa nila yan. Grabe yung tinikman kong goat cheese. Sige nga lo. Sige nga lo. Ay, wala yung ganun. <laughs> Sabi natin, Abbey Road. <laughs> Built and the stone was taken directly, physically in place. It is a very important aspect. It was not an apparition. The Madonna was physically here with the boat along the river to uh, give support to St. James. Gonna stop for a little bit more than one hour. Uh, which allows you to wander a little bit around and maybe have some uh, sandwich, some snack. Uh, there is also a place where you can go and have uh, fish. Uh, there are many places where you can have something to eat and to drink if you like. And remember that then we drive two hours and we stop again in case you need to have some late lunch or whatever reason. The meeting point will be exactly where I leave you now, along the river where the coach will leave us now, Carmelo will go Piazza della Cattedrale, o Piazza del Pilar, the square of the pillar, P-I-L-A-R.
Free toilets. This is a new place with lots of uh, type of different food and things to buy. Now, when uh, we go in the reception, are ready to go to Toledo. Okay, with your headsets. Okay, with your headsets. It may be good. It's up to you. No, it's nice. The sun maybe will be on there tomorrow, right? So I have a jacket. Kaya naman dumihan ito. Ang ganda-ganda. Comforter atrium in Mad Madrid, Madrid, Spain. <laughs> nice. My God. So beautiful. Inside out. Oops, kahadiero. Walang rape? Ay, pray. Ay, itong kahadiero. Ito ang rape. Tingnan mo na papagamit ko. <laughs> Rip pala yun. An uprising of part of the Spanish army against the Second Republic before the dictatorship of General Franco before the civil war we had in Spain the Second Republic. But General Franco together with General Mola, General Sanjurjo and General on the River Tagos is on the left now or you see down on the left. There are some water mills by the river uh, now are not in use. So you see a new bridge uh, here in front. When passing by the new bridge in front, the Roman one will be on the left. And there is also a small medieval castle on the left now, a little back on the left. You see the San Servandos Castle from the 1200s. And you see the bridge, top the left now, that is the Roman Bridge of Toledo, 2000 years old. The top of the bridge reconstructed by the Arabs in the 800s. Looking on the right now, by the river, you see the base of a pillar, and by the hill on the right, two more bases of two more pillars, the pillars that before supported the Roman aqueduct of Toledo. 2,000 years ago, the Romans built a dam 35 kilometers on the east of Toledo, and to supply the city with the water of the dam, they passed the water on a very high aqueduct built on the river. You can see the cathedral appearing now, here on the right, huge cathedral of Toledo, with the very high spire coming out, 92 meters high. Close to the cathedral, another church with a big black dome on it and the two towers by the front, San Ildefonso, the Jesuit Church of Toledo from the 1700s. So you see how the city is on the top of the hill and how the river comes all around this area. You see the very defensible place where Toledo is. Very easy, the military defense. Holy Toledo, Holy Toledo. So here we stop, you can get up. Yeah, no, so tala ng bibig ko tanga. Hindi ngayon lang. Wala. Dilim. 
Hindi. Mad hindi ba madilim yan? Tinan mo ba naman ba mo agad mula sa record mo? Ay nagaw mo. that we go to see and then after the driver will be waiting for us all across Toledo on the other side of the city it's very important to remember how is called the place where the bus will be just in case that you get lost uh, in Toledo and believe me it's very easy to get lost uh, here in Toledo in case that happens because happens that somebody get lost uh, first of all don't wait three you see the cypress on the right now, behind the tree, a horseshoe form for the Christian people were built in Toledo under the Christian domination, Arab architects were the builders of Toledo. If you look on the right, uh, you are going to see the bell tower of the church uh, on the right now coming, separate from the building of the church, like the minaret of a mosque, but is a Christian church, exactly as the main square of Madrid, Puerta del Sol, Gate of the Sun, the Gate of the City Walls.
polítiques, bueno, té molt d'esquia i d'espai per dir si en Sevilla, 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 de ser polítiques, quan visto de nos, no quitalí, in Milano, in Duomo, in Milano, amb des de dis de fer de dir que és de quan in Gothic Style, de vintin has de xeic o macros, l'aigun on de grau. Antonio Bienvenida va dir que when he was already retired of the bullfights, in the farm of a friend, a bull kill him, when he was retired. Maybe it was the revenge of the other bulls that he killed in his life. More than 60% of the Spanish people are against the bullfights, 60%, but the other 40% of the people are very fond of the bullfights. Another memorial here on the right in front to a very good bullfighter, Dr. Fleming, but he discovered the penicillin, and the discovery of penicillin was very important. Plaza de Toros. at the post office as a miracle. But also you have to pay for the stamp. <laughs> well, and Fuencarral, Fuencarral is for only for pedestrians and is full of shops everywhere for the young people. The one on the right now, this on the right now, Fuencarral, place to go shopping the young people. And all, uh, for everybody, all this area that we, you see are Two brands for shopping that are very famous now and are Spanish. This on the right uh, now, Mango, Mango is a Spanish brand. And also this on the right, Zara, we say Zara. Zara shop, the owner is one of the richest men in Spain. The square that... Madrid, Bill Baile, Castle, and Bosnian, the present palace of the 1700s. And the beginning of the 1700s came in Spain the present dynasty of the Spanish monarchs. Now the king is called Juan Carlos de Borbón y Borbón. So his young son is Borbón and Borbón. That was Borbón. On the left. So the king is still a member of this dynasty coming from France. They were all living at the Cathedral. You remember the statues that we saw at the Royal Palace? You see again a few more here on the right. They are by all the gardens and parks of Madrid, never on the top of the Royal Palace. And again, we see in front the Alcalas Gate, built in 1778, the entrance to Madrid before when coming from... local things. Eh? Remember, every region they have their own lo local little things.
pitan. Pitan. Qué no bueno que aso. Sí, no sin dar nada. Burgos in Spain. Burgos in Spain. <laughs> 